Hello, I am Pete, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Challenge of Challenges. We're still in Honest Hearts, but I'm expecting this to be the last episode in Honest Hearts, because we have nearly reached the end game. The challenge for this episode is Varmint Rifle Only. I am considering the Rat Slayer to fall under that criteria. The Rat Slayer is a unique variant of the Varmint Rifle. It is slightly better than a base Varmint Rifle, um, but this is what we're going to be using. Let's just have a, a little look at it. Uh, try and get the angle about that. There you go. Rat Slayer. We're going to be slaying some rats. Okay, so as I have mentioned before, I've only played Honest Hearts once before. When I did, I played the ending where you crushed the white legs. So for this ending, we're going to be playing the other one for I'm variety. If you and Joshua have any objections, I'd like to start evacuating the sorrows. I'm going to need your help, so say your piece. Uh, don't worry, I think leaving Zion is for the best. It may be. I hope it is. To tell the truth, if something goes wrong, more sorrows could die in the escape than in Joshua's proposed attack. Even knowing that, it's a risk I have to take. With your help and Joshua's, even if we're attacked, we can defend the sorrows and escape. We'll be traveling at night in small groups across the valley. With luck, the White Legs won't know what's happened until the next morning. But if the White Legs realize what's happening, Joshua and I will need you to help us escape. Don't hold back. I promise you. The White Legs won't. Once our path is clear, I'll give you everything you need to get back to the Mojave. But the Pine Creek Tunnel must be collapsed behind us. It's the only way to delay the White Legs' pursuit long enough for us to get a head start. Good luck. And may God be with us. Waking Cloud has returned to the Sorrows camp. She's given me back that combat armor. And I've lost her perk. Daniel must have made it to the tunnel by now. But there are sorrows all over the valley. We have to help them and get Daniel out of here. All right, let's go. Right. Okay, so I've now got Joshua Graham's perk, which gives me um, a boost to 45 caliber auto pistols. Obviously can't use that. It's um, varmint rifle only today. And we've had some optional quests added. Now, there's one thing I want to check, which is speech skill. So I have a speech skill of 60, but I know that there is definitely at least one speech check of 75 at the end of this episode, which I'd quite like to be able to pass. The question is, how many Meeting People magazines do I have? I have four Meeting People magazines. That's brilliant. OK, I'm covered for all eventualities. So let's have a look at those optional quests I've picked up. Uh, so Retake the Bridge is kind of the final one. Um, that's down here and our destination is over here. So we'll be doing that en route there. Sanctity of the Dead is kind of up here so yeah i'm planning on detouring up here and um, one thing to notice at this point we can't actually use fast travel at all so uh we, we do need to walk the slow way but first we're going to be doing the prisoners of war quest which is just up here at a, at a ranger station so we're going to head up there with joshua graham um i do wonder if we can kind of get a good position to try and take them out without heading up there if I can get to higher ground, I can perhaps... I could, in theory, snipe across at them. I'm just not sure if there is any higher ground to get to. I think maybe let's just uh, let's just go up and... Yeah, because the thing is, they, they do have the higher ground. You have to go uphill towards them, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but, you know, I'm not too worried about the varmint rifle only requirement for this episode because, you know, I've got Joshua Graham with me and he is he is far from useless in a fight. One thing to note is that this entire episode is going to be taking place at night, and I assume I can't wait. Okay, I can wait, so I suppose I could wait through to daytime. I sort of want to do that. I'm assuming it's not going to fail anything for me. There we go. Okay, so they're wandering around up there. Yes. Oh, that was a perverted noise you made there Josh not going to do it again so yeah if we keep going around here eventually we'll hit a little ramp this is the one now the strength of the rat slayer is the sneak attack criticals um, so I want to I want to get an attack from, from hidden if I can I'm also going to use the armor piercing ammo just to maximize the damage I can do against these white legs so I think if I just wait here, one of them will eventually walk across to this spot here. 
and I will then have a, a great shot at him. That said, nobody's moving right now. Oh, hello. Okay, he moved very fast. Oh no, Josh, come on. I was hoping to get the element of surprise. Oh, you fool. Right, okay, well let's just use Vats and, and plink him in the head a few times. Okay, so now we're in danger. Oh, I managed to shoot the gun out of his hand. Nice. Very nice. Joshua finished that one off. Two more still around there. Uh, I'm going to take some stuff. Oh, hello. I see you. Um, but yeah, I'm now over encumbered. Okay, there is still one more there. Yeah, I, I don't want to be giving stuff to Joshua to carry. I need to drop some, some junky stuff. Um, anything here I can repair together. There is so much stuff I'm carrying just as a consequence of picking up all of this all this loot. Uh, I'm 10 over. I mean, a lot of it's to do with this combat armor, but I kind of don't want to throw that away. I mean, if I take something that will give me a strength boost, then that will drop me down by 10. How are we for strength boosting things? I have two ice cold sunset sarsaparillas. Okay, that might be enough to keep me going through to the end of the episode. And also, did I, were there two bodies down here to loot? No, just that one up there, and then this one here. Okay, that one's currently around the back of the building. Uh, I've discovered this. Uh, I'm just going to try and pick up stuff that doesn't weigh anything. That'll do. Okay, not really doing too much damage to me there. Uh, where's Joshua Graham? There he is. That answers that question. And yeah, I'll just pick up the ammo. See, the thing is, hunting shotguns are worth a fair few caps, but I just don't think I can carry it with me. I mean, maybe... Maybe if I take one... Yeah, I, I can maybe repair them together and make that work. I think another one back here had a hunting shotgun. This one. So now if I repair those two hunting shotguns together... I'm still well over the weight limit. I mean, maybe the Mantis Gauntlet isn't worth having. Oh, that, that weighs 10. That's insane. Yeah, I should definitely get rid of one of those. And then how else can I free up five pounds of weight? I, mean, I think I did have a fission battery somewhere. That's only got a value of 75 for a weight of six. Yeah, let's, let's leave that behind. Okay, so now we have killed all of the people who are here. I think that if you go upstairs, you can pick up the key that will allow you to open... Yeah, white leg key, that's the one. So, let's just take anything else that's good. Again, we have to focus on the stuff that doesn't weigh anything. That'll do. And then we can unlock this. And that is a quest complete, I believe. Can't resist the wonder glue. And I'm over encumbered again. I don't really want to spend the entirety... Oh, oh there's, there's an egg timer I can drop. And a fork. Okay, yeah, so just looking for some stuff that I, that I picked up and really shouldn't have. I should hopefully be able to reduce my burden. And failing that, I suppose we, we could eat something. Something for healing, because, yeah, we, we could do with healing up a few. Uh, if we just drink this dirty water, then that gets us back to a a decent weight and we'll restore our health yeah okay that's a good shout okay so the next quest in our list is sanctity of the dead so we need to head over to here and as i say you can't fast travel so i think we'll just walk along the road so we'll go down there to north fork bridge across to zion fishing lodge and then we'll approach this from this side of the river so uh yeah, I'll, I'll get on to that and i will basically resume with you at the point at which something interesting happens Just made it here to uh, sort of just past North Fork Campground. Now I'm seeing a couple of red marks on the compass. One there. And one up there somewhere. I am now in caution. Is it that person up there? No, that's a banana yucca plant. Oh, they're moving. They're coming to investigate that thing. 
But because I used a silenced weapon, they don't know I'm here. Which means I can get another sneak attack. And take them out. Oh, and another one. Still in caution. If we wait for it, this should go back down to hidden. Well, they are coming this way, actually. I best not wait any longer. And the rats there, nicely staggering them. I think this person's melee only. So, um... Oh, no, they're not. They are a light bringer. Okay, let's reload our gun. Oh, nice, I like that ammo. And, mm, yeah, I'm going to take a, a hunting revolver to repair my other hunting revolver with. So actually, that's, I'm not sure that this hunting revolver is really that damaged. Hmm, okay. I mean, hunting revolvers are nice. I, I'm going to make a lot of money out of selling that hunting revolver one day. So if I can free up three three pounds of weight, I think probably just dropping some, some like, bitter drink. Um... In fact, each of the, definitely drinking one of those, that will top up my health, so that's worth doing. Um, oh, but it doesn't weigh anything. I'm an Egypt. Okay, let's consume these two Brahmin steaks. Or oh, in fact, no, let's not. No, let's. Okay, eating one of those has increased my weight limit to 240. That was a good move. Okay. All right, so yeah, the Brahmin steaks, in fact, are the answer because each time I'm over-encumbered, as a result of my strength buff wearing out. See, again, a trail carbine. I really want to pick that up. That's that's going to be worth a lot of money. I, I don't like leaving it on the ground. But I think that's just the nature of this final quest. There is going to be more loot than I can carry. Okay, and the ice cold sunset says Sospira has worn off. Okay, right, I see. So, yeah, I can drink another one of those, which will buy me some time. But, yeah, really, I, I just need to, I just need to get rid of like food I don't need common food I don't need all these purified waters they're only worth 20 each let's drop some of those uh, just two for now will do yes. I'll stop making that noise you weirdo okay so there's a couple of ways of approaching this quest here there's a peaceful way um, which you can do by talking to Dancing Flame, or you can kind of go in all guns blazing. Now, the peaceful way does require a speech check of 75 here, but I think I'm tempted to do it. I think I think that my Meeting People magazine probably won't last between here and the final encounter, which is another 75 speech check. So I'm probably going to have to use two Meeting Peoples this episode, but that does avoid me having to fight five white legs over there. It feels like a reasonable investment. Oh, there's some people over there and they're coming towards me. Who can see me? Is it, I feel like it's them over there that can see me. There's a person there wandering around. Here they come. Behind the tree. Storm drummer. Come on, Joshua. I need you to help. All right, back to hidden. But there is another red mark just there. So I feel like attempting to loot this body might... Oh, they've got their back to us. I'll take some ammo. Another trail carbine I can't take. Now you've done it. Okay, and now Joshua's decided that fight is on. Fair enough. Have you finished it yet? Take it. There seems to be another one over there. I'm once again over encumbered, so I need to. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to keep consuming things to give me a strength buff, am I? Because I've currently got no strength buff active. So if I take either a um, a bra, if I take a Brahmin stake right now, you know that that gets me back up, but that's going to wear off fairly soon. Um, we have a lost friend here who is trapped in a rock and is probably not going to be hittable as a result. So I'm just going to leave them to it. I'm going to try and make my way down to uh, to Dancing Flame here. I'll leave that person to Joshua. Okay, Joshua's finished that. He'll be back with me any second. 
So yeah, before we approach these people, we need to take a meeting, people. You friend of Soros, yes? Together we smash white legs that defile holy places, yes? Just get out of here. You're no match for hardened white leg warriors. Because you are friend to Soros? Very well. We go. Angry ghost will do for white legs. So that completes that quest. And now we need to set the taking the bridge quest to be active. So we need to head up there. I think we can go up this slope to the right here and that will work. One thing I would quite like to see is if there's a good sniping spot that I can take advantage of. Looks like it, doesn't it? I'm going to try and take out as many as I can from here. Okay, that hit. I've definitely lost the element of surprise. They know something's going on over here. But it also looks like they might all be melee. I'm going to shoot these two in the groin. This person seems to be stuck in the water now. Okay, they're making their way around behind us. Okay, we should probably attend to that. Hello, you. That's it. Do you want this one, Josh? Uh, maybe I should help. Okay, uh, there's another one coming through the water here. Another one making their way. That's it. My Brahmin stake's worn off, so I'm uh, I'm overweight again. Here comes another friend. Come to join the party. Take it. You... And there's one more coming in right now. And yeah, we're, we're definitely going to need to be dropping off some stuff. I can't keep taking strength boosting stuff all the way through to the end of the DLC. Oh, Misfortune's arrived to help. And um, did Misfortune do that? She's pretty amazing, isn't she? Okay, these... Not, don't have much. Oh, we've leveled up. That should be level 20. Okay. So I suppose I could just put 15 points into speech right now, and then that means that I don't need to take another Meeting People magazine. I will need more speech at some point, and I didn't really have anything else particularly in mind. I was thinking maybe some science, but let's just do that. All right, one more point. What can we round up? You know how much I like rounding stuff up. Um... There's nothing that can be rounded up to a multiple of five, so let's just drop it into science. Why not? Level 20 perk, what are our options? I mean, this thing here, additional two points to strength and slowly regenerate health, would certainly deal with my immediate problems of carrying stuff, but I'm not sure that it's really that strong a perk overall. Something like Grim Reaper's Sprint is much more generally applicable. Strong back, 50 more pounds of equipment. Mmm. That gives you a lot more extra carry weight than two points of strength does. Let's have it. Nice. Um, though, of course, I'm not now going to backtrack and pick up all of the trail carbines and stuff that I dropped back then. But, yeah, still looking at that. 270 we can now carry. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm happy with that. Right, so Flight from Zion is next. We just need to go over there. So we need to make our way over to this bridge. Can I get to it from here? I'm not sure if there's a ramp up there. I think I might need to go around. Aha, a trail carbine. Yeah, we're kind of backtracking anyway just because that's the only way to go. I will just consult the map. Joshua Graham's still stuck there, but yeah, we, we basically need to go back to this junction and across there. There's no shortcut across the, the rocks. Is Joshua Graham actually moving? Joshua Graham might be a bit stuck. I feel like waiting for an hour here might be a thing that... No, Joshua Graham's still over there. All right, I guess Joshua Graham is, is now just staying there. That's his life now. Tragic. But that's fine, I don't think we need him. I will reload my gun just to be on the safe side. Although, what's this corpse here? That's just a skeleton. Okay. 
So I think there will be one or two more white legs to deal with as we go around this path. But nothing we can't handle. Okay, there's one. Hello, you. Okay. Okay, they're, they're, they're not doing too much damage here. And there's one more there. Have I got enough AP to take a shot? Haven't. Okay, this one coming towards me is melee only, it would seem. Let them get close. Okay, this is slightly annoying. Ah! Okay, we're still, we're still above half health. Okay, now we just need to avoid this person who's shooting at me from down there while our AP recharges. Okay, and now let's take a... Let's try a headshot. It worked. Lovely. They are very, very severely weakened. One shot is enough to finish them off. Okay, does anyone here have any good stuff to pick up? I've got lots of spare capacity now, so... Oh, oh, hello. Joshua's made it back. Ah, oh, nice one. Just after all the fun has finished. What a loser. Okay, so I want to heal up a little bit. Uh, what was it I was taking that... Uh, I think some purified water. They're 15 each. Not much, but... Let's just take a few of those. That'll be fine. Uh, this person was carrying a trail carbine. Again, something that uh, is going to be good for selling later on. Looks like you had one as well. Everyone likes the trail carbines around here. Okay, I think there might be another group of white legs to fight as we get a little bit further. Joshua's going to be able to get involved in this one. Which he'll be happy about. He doesn't like being left out. I feel like I... Oh, I did see someone just approaching there as I dropped into this thing. Yeah, I do feel like it would be worth just topping off my health. Um, what can we use for that? I mean, I could just use stim packs. Um, uh, you know what, let's just get rid of the caravan lunch. Okay, I'm in hidden there. Uh, the red march disappeared. Is that because they just went out of range or is it because of dead... Oh, there's, well, there's a couple of red marks up there. So, yeah, the yellow marks are dead horses and the red marks are white legs. So if I can go and help out in this fight, I would like to. Just to minimise the number of uh, friendlies who die. But I do seem to feel unable to get up there at all. And now all the marks have disappeared on my compass, which either means that everyone died or it means that they've run out of, out of range. Oh, there is a mark down here. Okay, there's some victorious warriors returning and a white legs pain maker will help with this oh and another one um i'm slightly concerned that they're going to move in front of my my gun here but let's let's see if we can help oh you've got one of those fiery things eh right he's dead now you want to get in the water Wetting yourself off. Right, let's have a shish kebab. And I think this person also had a shish kebab. No, maybe it was the same shish kebab. I think what probably happened there is one of them had a shish kebab and then died and then the other one picked it up. We have gone through a fair amount of armour piercing ammo here, but yeah, that's what it's there for. Okay, so now this is the bit where uh, Salt Pond Wounds is going to run up to me and I can use my new speech of 75 to uh to head this whole thing off. Foolish out man. You best white legs you think. By my spear you die. Wait, there's no reason this has to end in bloodshed. You speak. I listen. Kill you. Maybe I not. Maybe. So we have options here. Your power is broken, you cannot hope to prevail here. Leave this valley in peace. Or I've already crushed your warriors. Retreat now and rebuild your tribe or die in obscurity. Or Daniel and the Sorrows are weak prey, not fit for such mighty warriors. All three have basically the same effect, but I'm, I'm really going to lean in and, and shame this guy if I can. We leave, but always fight. White legs, we strong warriors for Kaisar. Off you go. I think he was the only one left. I think Daniel had already 
killed all the rest of them. <laughs> nice one. I've discovered Pine Creek Tunnel. Uh, I seem to be unable to search this person. Can I search this person? All right, I seem to be unable to search any of these dead white legs and take their stuff. That's fine. Okay. All right, Daniel, it's time. Please, have you done everything you can for the sorrows? Are they all accounted for? Yes, we have. Go. You've done more than I could have ever hoped for. Thank you. And may God protect you for all of your days. Goodbye. Okay, Joshua Graham has left our company. We've lost his perk. Daniel's given us a detonator to detonate the C4 placed above the mouth of the Pine Creek Tunnel. Firing this detonator will collapse the passage and prevent any white legs from following Daniel and the Sorrows out of Zion. Okay, so I can't move my um, myself anything. The only thing I can do is left click here. That's a lot of XP. And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the white legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. After the White Legs drove the Sorrows from Zion, they celebrated by destroying all traces of the Valley's former inhabitants. They appealed to the Legion for assimilation, but were denied. Their failure to eradicate the new Canaanites in Grand Staircase and farther up the Colorado had not gone unnoticed. The White Legs made a half-hearted effort to find the new Canaanites but were driven off by dead horses trained in the ways of Joshua Graham. The White Legs lost all hope of joining the Legion and disintegrated into a number of petty raiding bands, leaving Zion Valley a polluted sister. Daniel succeeded in leading the Sorrows out of Zion, as he had wanted to do from the start. The Courier protected the Sorrows during the evacuation, ensuring that most reach their destination unharmed. Over the weeks and months to come, Daniel would see to the Sorrow's resettlement in Grand Staircase. Their adjustment to their new home was not without difficulty, but eventually the Sorrow's came to accept the loss of Zion. Having helped Daniel and the Sorrow's escape from Zion, the dead horses returned to their home at Dead Horse Point. The tribe continued to learn from the new Canaanites and over many years built a flourishing community along the banks of the Colorado. Though the tribe's bond would endure, it was Joshua Graham's legend the dead horses would revere, not the tenets of new Canaan's faith. Already weakened by several seasons of bad trading, the Happy Trails Caravan Company was initially discouraged by the results of its expedition. The fate of New Canaan and the evacuation of the Sorrows from Zion made the prospect of trading seem fruitless. When Daniel told his family about the exploits of Happy Trails employee the Courier, however, New Canaan decided to repay the company's kindness. Twice per year, New Canaanites made the dangerous journey west to trade with a company in the city of New Reno. The Happy Trails Caravan Company could not survive on such trading alone. But the new Canaanites' generosity made tough times go easier. After leading the Sorrows from their home in Zion to safety in Grand Staircase, Daniel continued to wonder if he'd made the right choice. He spent his life evangelizing the beliefs of his people to a new generation of young men and women, as his ancestors had for centuries before him. He was happy with his family. But for the rest of his life, there were nights when he awoke with sadness to find he had been dreaming of Zion. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. So that feels like that was generally a fairly happy outcome. Uh, I'm back here at the Southern Passage, so I'm just going to run over to this duffel bag where I dumped loads and loads of stuff. Um, nothing yet has happened to the corpse of Jed Masterson. It's still here in pieces. Wildlife hasn't picked it clean. Picking all of this up is going to take me way, way over capacity. But I have a plan for getting this back to my home in... In fact, let's, let's just press R and then take all... Yeah, I have a plan for getting this back to my home in Novak. I think there's a little hollowed out rock we can drop some stuff in. 
and then we can come back with some companions to help carry it. So I'm now going to run over to that footlocker that's just there, which has some stuff I can pick up. This will take quite a few seconds to get there. I'm very over-encumbered. Okay, so in this footlocker we have a light shining in darkness, which is Joshua Graham's 45 pistol. We have Salt Upon Wounds Power Fist. We have some various outfits, including Joshua Graham's armor, which is really nice light armor. And we have some scripture, which I think we should see what it is. Okay, it looks like that's just a, a misc item that you can't do anything with. Uh, it's, it's not like a, a readable component. Okay, let's take the passage, which gives us another 100 XP. We have completed the quest, Departing Paradise. We have to make our way along this long tunnel very, very slowly. This is the tunnel where we originally started Honest Hearts from, the implication being that this is in the Mojave. So, you know, if you think of it that way, we, you know, going through that door back there was the one that sort of was the long journey back from Zion. And then this is just the final stretch. This box here is where um, anything... Uh, if, if you were over £75 when you came through at the start of the DLC, anything that... Uh, that you had to drop off, you could drop off in here. So that would be an opportunity to pick up anything that you didn't take into Honest Hearts. But I'd already left all my stuff in Novak. Okay, so we're done, and welcome back to the Mojave. Uh, I'm going to find that hollowed-out rock that's somewhere around here and uh, put some stuff in, and then I'm going to use fast travel and some companions to... Here it is, uh, to, to bring everything back to Novak. Going to do that off-camera. Now uh, this is where we will end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you'll join me for the next episode of Fallout New Vegas Challenge of Challenges. As always, if you have any ideas for challenges to add to the rotation, rotation, randomizer really, please leave them as comments below. Bye-bye.